When creating new elements in a design, they are assigned attributes that control their appearance. The general element attributes are set in the Attributes ribbon group on the Home ribbon tab. This translates to any drawing element such as a line, line string, block, or circle, among other elements. These will be placed and drawn on the active level called Buildings. It is placed using Active Color 3, red, and using what is referred to as bi-level symbology. It will also be placed as a solid line using the line style 0. It also will be placed using the line weight of 2. By using bi-level settings, sets the line style and the line weight to match that of the level definition. To recap, active level specifies the level on which the new elements are placed. Active color specifies the color of the new elements. Active line style specifies the line style of new elements, either one of the standard line styles, 0 to 7, or a custom one. Active line weight specifies the line weight of new elements from 0 to 31. The most important element attribute is the level on which an element is placed. You need to place the correct types of elements on the correct levels, as determined by your organization's standards. The display of levels can be turned on and off so you can see or print only the information you want. A best practice is to have the color, line style, and line weight of an element assigned by the level on which it is placed. This is referred to as bi-level symbology. The main benefit of using bi-level symbology is the enforcement of CAD standards. Because level definitions are defined in a configured design file library, a CAD manager can make a change to a level in a design file library and it will be cascaded to hundreds or possibly thousands of individual design files using that level definition. The alternative would be to manually change each and every file, a tedious and error-prone task. A level defined from a design library always remains linked, so in the event the design file library is changed, that change will be propagated to the design files using that definition. In this lesson, you will learn setting the active level, level search, bi-level symbology, element properties, active color, line style, and weight, and understanding standard and custom line styles. Let's start with MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page set the following Workspace Bentley Connect Training. Work Set, MS Basics. Click Browse and navigate to MS Basics DGN 02 Defining Element Attributes folder and then open Element Attributes DGN. By default, the dataset is installed on C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash work sets. Open the models dialog by clicking the models icon on the home ribbon tab in the primary ribbon group. From the list of models, open the default model by double clicking it. In the attributes ribbon group on the home ribbon tab, set the active level to geometry. Here's a hint. To easily find the level in the list, you can type part of the level name in the Search Levels field. To ensure that the color, line style, or line weight of an element is defined by the level definition, known as bi-level symbology, on which the element is placed, set the active color, line style, or line weight to the specific value bi-level. When you do this, the color, line style and line weight will automatically change when you change to that active level. Go ahead and set the active color, line style, and active line weight to bi-level. Note that once you set attributes to bi-level, a small stack of levels graphic appears in each of the attribute settings. 
the actual values displayed reflect the color 6, and line style 0, and the line weight 2 assigned based on the active level. Note, the color, line style, and line weights assigned to a predefined level are generally managed by the CAD administrator. Select Place Smart Line located in the Home Ribbon tab, Placement Ribbon Group, and draw some lines on the level geometry. Change the active level to Land. Hint, clear the level filter first if needed. Observe how the color, line style, and line weight automatically change to match the values defined for the land level. They are now set to the color of 2, line style of 4, and line weight of 1. Next, Draw some lines on the land level. Change the active level to C and draw some lines on the new level. Observe how the elements placed on the level C have the line style diamond assigned, but this line style is hardly visible. The global line style scale has not been set correctly. Open the Models dialog by clicking on the Models icon in the Home Ribbon tab in the Primary Ribbon group. In the Models dialog, right-click the default model, the active model, and select Properties. In the Properties dialog on the General panel, Set the following. Line Style Scale Global Line Style Scale Global Line Style Scale Factor 10 Hint, another option is to set the Line Style Scale to follow the Annotation Scale and set the Annotation Scale to 1 to 10. The Annotation Scale is used to scale text and other annotations depending on the print scale. The elements with the diamond style are immediately updated. You can now clearly see the diamonds in the line style. Note how the line style of the green elements did not change. That's because these are drawn with a standard line style. In this case, line style 4. The seven standard line styles are not scalable. Custom line styles, on the other hand, are scalable and become larger or smaller when you zoom in or out of a view. Standard line styles, 0 through 7, are defined in screen units and are not scalable. They are not truly WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. They do not change size when you zoom in or out. That's why it is recommended that you use custom line styles. Next, choose Element Selection from the Selection Ribbon group on the Home Ribbon tab. Data point to select on the C-level Blue Diamond Line Styles. Right press and hold and in the context menu select properties. This opens the property dialog with information about the selected element. The color, line style, and line weight of this element are set to by level and reflect the values that have been assigned to the level C. With element selection still active, select one of the orange lines placed on the level geometry. The color Line style and line weight of this element are also set to by level. At printing time, each line weight is mapped to a certain print width, as defined in the printer driver configuration. So generally, you should not have to change the active color, active line style, and active line weight as you work, as they will follow the active level you set. Only when you want to override the by level color, line style, or line weight, you can select a hard coded value. In this lesson you learned setting the active level, level search, bi-level symbology, element properties, active color, line style and weight, 
understanding standards and custom line styles. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.